Hello, welcome back to Crack the Cryptic on the 6th of July and pleasure it is to be with you now. This is a really good advertising opportunity for me today, this puzzle, uh, for two reasons that is. One, it is by Joseph Neymar, who is the author of the brilliant puzzle pack available on Patreon at the moment that is a competition this month for our Patreons. Um, that pack is an equal sum lines pack with 12 excellent variations of equal sum lines and then a 13th puzzle that brings them all together. It's magnificent. Every review we've had of it has said exactly what we expected about how good it is. Do check it out if you're on Patreon and very well done to anybody who's got sent in the correct solution. Simon is still reading those out daily which is uh, good of him and well done frankly if you did a puzzle in it and I'm sure you enjoyed it because that's how good Joseph is as we'll hopefully we'll see today. Now the other reason this is good is because it's a pure arrow Sudoku and we of course if you like this we have an app of 100 arrow Sudokus guessing that they're going to be easier than today's but who knows I haven't tried this yet we'll see um, but Joseph is capable of some very hard puzzles and there's no givens and just a few arrows we'll see but uh, I'm not expecting this to be a walk in the park now what else there's all of course all our other apps and there's our merchandise and Sven's Sudoku pad you can check these all out on the links under the video along with the discord server and the catalog of our puzzles um, and of course how to get to Patreon but uh, the first link is to this puzzle it's called Lost I hope that's not about the TV series which I never watched um, I don't know. And anyway, I'm not sure how a num a puzzle like this. Actually, I do. I did come across in a puzzle hunt that there was a set of numbers associated with Lost. So maybe you could work them into a Sudoku, but I won't know what they are. Um, anyway, I'm sure it's not that. I'm sure this is just because we're going to get lost somewhere along the way while solving this. There's every chance of that. Um, and the rules are very simple. Normal Sudoku rules apply, which is one to nine in every row, column and box. And digits along an arrow add up to the number in the attached circle. So those two add up to that one. Let's bear in mind that those two, for instance, could be the same digit because there's no Sudoku rule to prevent that. So if they were, that would be an even number, I can tell you. Um, anyway, do give it a try. It's the first link. I'm going to start now. I'm going to reset my clock so I know my time. Let's get cracking. Um, <clears throat> so one of the things when you when you get a reasonably dense area of arrows and circles like box four one of the things to look for is how many arrow cells you have in there and here there goes the drilling here we have five arrow cells so those cells because they have to be five different numbers have to add up to at least 15 which is the sum of <clears throat> one two three four and five and that means these two circles have to add up to at least 15. And the minimum either of them can now be is a 6 as a result of that. Let's not forget they could be the same. They don't have... If we did establish that this added up to 15... Oh, sorry. If we established that this added up to 16, they wouldn't have to be a 9-7 pair. They could both be 8s. Oh, up here we've got 5 cells... Five arrow cells here. Ah, so those two add up to 15 as well. Um, and this time they can't be the same circle cells in the circles. That is obviously the same as that because it's a one cell arrow. We've got another one cell arrow here. Not sure how I can use that at the moment. Um, okay, it's not easy this. What on earth do we do to move on here? Hmm, okay, I'm, I'm not getting it. I mean, I wouldn't say anything I've done counts as even half a break in yet. So let's have a good old thinkaroo. Now, if these add up to no more than, well, those add up to no more than 18. So one and two have to be on the arrows. These add up to no more than 17. So one, two, three have to be on the arrows. Uh, 
That has to be a different digit to that, and also to those two. But I don't know, that doesn't help. This has two arrows coming from it. I think this has to be at least a six as well, yeah. The minimum <coughs> for those four cells is ten. And the minimum for that one is a one. So these add up to at least eleven. <clears throat> but whatever they add up to is twice that number. So that has to now be at least a six as well. Okay, this is not easy. I'm not getting very far here. Maybe, okay, let's think about these two numbers and where they go in box four. Now that could be more interesting. Because they can't go there. Now one of them can go here. But the other one must go on an arrow. Now, can both of them go on an arrow? If they were 6 and 7, could these arrows be 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, which adds up to 19? No, because those two circle cells can't add up to 19. Right, so one of these two goes in that cell, and the other one does go on an arrow. In fact, that one goes... Oh no, it could be that one going on that arrow. Okay, I don't know. But that is now 6, 7, 8 or 9, which is there as well. <clears throat> so we seem to be getting a proliferation of 6, 7, 8, 9s. Possibilities. What, what else can we do with this? 
is from three, four, five, and six, and adds up to at least seven. No, adds up to at least eight, because this needs one of three or four. Now, well, that's getting interesting. These two must add up to at least 15, of course. Wow, this is it. This puzzle's got freaky in a hurry. So yellow is on this group. And what color is this? Like if I make this red, it can't be the same as yellow, but it could be the same as purple or green, surely. Hmm, okay, I don't know. I've got one or two in those cells. One of three or four must be up here. So one, two, three, and four are definitely used up amongst those cells. So these ones are from five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's big, the beginnings of a quintuple. This is seven, eight, oh, I don't know. These definitely add up to at least 16, don't they? And this one has any, yeah, look, red and yellow. I suppose one of them could be there and one could be here. Now, what if red was here? Then it's an eight, because there's definitely a nine there. Then these two only add up to 16. Oh, that's interesting. So red is probably there, but if it's not... Oh, no, 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 hang on. Red could be on this arrow. If red is eight, it could be on this arrow. Okay, so maybe the hard thing is if red is nine. If red is nine, it can't, can't be here. It can't be here either because there's a nine in one of those cells and it can't be on the arrows. So if red is nine, it's here. Now, what does that do? It means red is either green or purple, which is perfectly possible. That's fine. Ah. But... It can't be purple. Okay, if red is here, it's here. Then it can't be purple. So it must be green. So red is green. Oh, and then where's red going in box four? There. It can't be in this circle because that's pointing to this circle where we've posited red already. And now there's nowhere in column three for red. Oh, that's mad. Okay, let me go through this one more time. So this red digit, eight or nine, if it's a nine, this is the point. If it's a nine, we have problems. And we have problems because in this box, Given that we know there's a nine in one of those cells, red couldn't be anywhere here. It can't be on an arrow because they're up to more than nine. So it must be here. So we've got red in those positions. That stops it being purple. It's got to be one of these two cells where nine lives. So it's green. That in turn puts it into that cell. And so far we're okay. But now we have to put it in one of these three cells And none of them is possible because it can't be on the arrow. It can't be in row two with the other nine. And it can't be in the top row because that corner would have to be the nine in box three. I mean, that's a six step cell or five steps, a five step deduction. But it is feasible. It is possible. You can see how that works just by highlighting cells. I'm just going to just people do sometimes say, why don't you actually put the numbers in so we can see why it doesn't work? And I'm going to do that. Let's imagine this was a nine. Then you obviously get a nine here. You must because there's a nine in one of these cells, you must get a nine here because all of those are ruled out and the arrow cells are ruled out. So you get a nine there. Now we know one of green or purple is nine and it's not purple because of where this nine is. So that becomes nine. 
The only place left in this box, since that can't be 9 because it would make that 9, the only place left in this box, which isn't an arrow, is there. And now none of these cells are possible. And that is complicated. And there might be another way to move forward in this puzzle, but I am never ashamed to take a route I've found genuinely, um, especially if I can see it by looking through it. So I've only shown you those numbers to show you what I was seeing. We're putting in an eight there and we're moving on. Um, right, now that's quite useful. These numbers now have to add up to 15. So yellow becomes a seven, I think. Is that right? It must be. Yeah, they do, they do. Yellow's a seven. That's one, two, four. We remove one and two from there. This is a three, five pair. That's a six. Oh, we can place eight, of course, in exactly the same way as we were placing nine. Purple is not seven now. Yeah, this hasn't done as much work down here because eight and seven are so much less restricted. Oh, well, it's okay. I want to say one of them must be in here forming a triple. No, okay, let's go with the fact that one of these is yellow. Right, these now have to be a minimum of seven, one, two, three, four, which is 17. That means this is a nine, eight pair in green and purple because that pair, green and purple, must add up to 17. So we've got seven, one, two, three, four here. Seven can't be on the long arrow because it couldn't keep down to eight or nine. So it's on this one with a one or a two making nine. Three and four are on this one with a one or a two making eight or nine. Right. Now that's an eight, nine pair. Eight can't be in any of these cells. I ah, see it's still there's more freedom than there was with the nine because eight doesn't have to be there because it could be on this arrow. Okay, come on, come on. One, two, three, four, seven. Uh, this is these are from five, six, eight, nine. So this is a quadruple now. So these remaining ones in the row are from one, two, three, four. Um, eight, come on, eight is in one of those cells. It's certainly not in that one because that arrow couldn't be kept down to nine. This, well, it's either on the arrow or in that cell. So that is now eight or nine and not purple. So it's, no, I still don't know if red is purple. Red is purple or green because it's eight or nine. So this is green because it's the other of eight or nine. And I still don't know whether red is purple or green. Sort of sentence you only hear on Cracking the Cryptic. Um, seven is in one of those two cells. Right, let's just keep, keep the head. Let's keep going. Um, right, what else do we need? We need that can't be green or purple, so it's not eight or nine. So one of the, oh, this is pointing to this cell, which can't be eight or nine either. So that is five or six, that is five or six. That's a five, six pair, so this is eight or nine. Tempted to color the five sixes immediately, but I can't actually see the benefit, so maybe not yet. Eight, three, five. Oh, I want to know which one is eight and which one is nine. How can I tell? Don't know. Seven. Is this arrow useful now? I'm not sure. If that is seven, one, then these must be at least two, three. But then this can be a one. Oh, no, this can still be green eight or nine. I don't know. I don't, 
don't think that arrow is telling me anything yet. I think it's box eight. It feels more like that. Oh, well, green eight or nine has to be in one of these cells. It can't be there, because to be on that arrow, it couldn't be nine, and it can't be eight. So green's in one of those two cells. Purple... Purple is also quite restricted, but it could be in the circle. Um, okay, that's not so... It's not restricted enough. And purple doesn't even have to be confined to here because it could be on that arrow if it was eight. Oh, I really need to know which of, pur which of purple and green is eight and nine, don't I? Now, this number can't be one, two, or four, or seven. So three, five, six, I suppose I'd better say eight. Well, maybe that's the point. This has become green, hasn't it? So where's green up here? Ah, lovely. Right, green is not there because it would be on the same arrow and that would have to be a zero. So green is in one of these two positions and I don't really care which one because whichever one it's in, I know it's not red. So red is purple. And we can forget the name red. They're now purples and they are eights. Ah, that's clever. That's so clever. Greens are nines. There's a nine in one of those two cells. There's a nine in one of those two. Ah, oh, that's brilliant. Um, eight here, can't be there, must be here. Maybe I could have worked out earlier that, oh no, I've only just found out that purple is red. <laughs> oh, honestly, some of the things we end up saying. Um, eight, eight is in one of these cells. It's on the arrow, eight, one on the arrow. Let's. I'm going to just get rid of the colouring for now. Maybe I will restore... I mean, I'll... Sorry, I'm going to get rid of the part colouring for now. Maybe I'll restore it later. Right, these... At least two, three, so that can't be more than four. There's a one here, so that's not a one. Ooh, one can't be there. Don't know. Right, I mean, I think I've made big breakthrough here. Eight. Eight is there in box one. Going to colour it whenever I know a full number. Now, 9 is on an arrow with either 3, 6 or 5. So that's 3, 6 or 4. But it can't be 6. So that's only two possibilities. And that gives us a 5, 6 pair. Which lets us place 3, 9 in the row. Going to colour my green 9. Right, that can't be 9. So that's a green 9. That can't be 9. So one of those two is a 9. One of those two, one of those two, one of those three. No, can't do that. Now, I've got a five, six pair in this column as well. N oh, nine can't be there because that's a six, seven, nine triple. So I could have known that ages ago. Anyway, done it now. Nine, five, six and eight. Ah, oh, now we know this is a nine here, so that's two, seven. That's one, three, four. So this cell is at least a two. These two are at least one and three because they can't have a two in. So we're up to at least six here, and now this can't be eight or nine. Right, so there's one degree of freedom. So that must be a two, since it can't be three or four. These are either one, three, or one, four, and they definitely include a one. One, two, eight. This is five, six, or seven. That's five or six. Now, come on, let's keep going here. This is going okay now. Right. Um, now, this can't be a three, four pair, I suppose. It could be a repeat digit, so I need to be a little careful. This can't be nine or eight, nor can this. That feels powerful now on the bottom row, a bit. Eight, three, five, nine. There's a, oh, there's a seven up in one of those cells. And there's a seven here. And that means the seven in column three is down here thanks to the x-wing on sevens i don't think it can be here because that's not eight or nine 
So that's a seven, excellent. We've got a seven in one of those two cells. If seven was here, we'd need ones there and we can't have that, so seven is here. Right, and this is a six now in the central circle. That's a seven, five at the end of the row. I think we're onto this now. Let's color those sevens, they're yellow. Um, actually, seven is in one of those two cells and it can't be there because this can't be eight or nine. So seven on another circle, that's a seven. Um, yes, come on now, we're getting there now. This adds up to seven without using a five, one, six, or three, four. This is no more than six. Um, oh, no, I thought that would be very helpful. It's not. Seven, 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 right, sevens are pretty much done. Eight and eight, they're still needing to be done. Nine and nine, right, that's an X-wing on nine, so that's not a nine. That's a nine in green. Eight, seven, five, nine. Seven, two, eight. Those can't have a two in. So that's a one, three, four set. This is a six. Um, these definitely do have a two in. Don't know how to use that. Oh, do I know what these add up to? No, I don't, because I don't know what this is. Right, what is this? Is it, is there a reason it's not one of them? Come on, this is, this is the last big deduction, I feel. Nine, eight, seven, okay, maybe not that. That's not a two. Now, if this was three, four, you'd get one, two, and six there. If it's one, six, that's from two, three, or four, that's not it. Three, even if that's a six. These are clearly from less. Oh, that's not getting anything done. Come on, Mark. Come on, we're nearly there now. Five, six pair. So that can't be a five. That's one, two, three, or four. Okay, maybe it is about this. Let's color them. Those can be orange, and this one can be blue out of the five sixes. I don't see how this is going to give me anything, but. I'm struggling to find much else. So blue's in one of those two cells. Um, five or six, so one of those. So there's a five down here, isn't there? Okay, maybe it's about this nine. Why, why is that more helpful than I have understood? It can't be a three, four pair. Does it have to have a two in it? No, it could be three, five, and that would be a one. Orange would then be six. Oh, come on, I'm nearly there. Oh, six is looking up at that cell, Mr. Stormtrooper. Um, so that fixes nine. Six, ooh, six is in one of these three. Seven, two, six, nine, eight, nine, eight, seven, six. Oh, come on. Six. Can six be there? I've got that three, five pair going on. So five in this box is in one of those cells. So there's no five on this. Now it could still be two six. That's really irritating with a one there. Otherwise I could restrict it to two, three, four and have a triple. Can that be two six? That would be three, four, five. You'd have one, two, six at the top. Oh, so close to being done three five nine seven these are from one two four and six that is two or four because it sees a one here and a six here 
come on, what's going on with these fives and sixes? Something's going on with them. Two, seven, that can't be a three, that's uninteresting. Eight, three, nine, seven is in one of those. Two is in one of those. This thing. One, two, three, four. Okay, if that was a five, this would be a four. That would have to be a two. So you'd have four, six. Oh, well, that would let this be low. So if this was a six in blue, this would be a five, three pair. Now that would have to be two, four down here, or two, six. Five, three looks the harder pair to use here. Although actually that, ah, oh, there we go. Oh, look at this. This is one, two, four, or six at the moment. No, okay, what, what I, I, I thought there might be an easier way to show this, but three and five have to fit into these three cells. So if that's a five, this is a four, six pair, and three and five can't fit into those three cells. Wow, so blue is a six. That's a lovely step as well. Orange is five. Now, now surely we are gonna get somewhere. That's a six down here. This isn't in the circle. So we'll get rid of five from there. Six there means that's not a six. And that's not a one. Um, six and five. Five is placed here. Um, sorry, I'm not hitting the right buttons. Five is placed there. Eight, seven, six, nine, five. This is one, three or four. It can't be a two. We know there's a two up here. Now, what do we know about this or this box? Five, nine, seven. Oh, that's a three. That's what we know on the arrow. Yes, that's not. Three, eight, nine, six, seven. That's one, two, or four. Six is in one of those two cells. This one itself is one, two, four, or six. Okay, that's not actually getting it done. Come on, I thought we were going to get there now. Three, that can't be a three. Goodness, I still don't know what this is. Right, we're, we're very close now, though. Seven, two, six, nine, eight, seven, nine, five. What about these? They can't have a three on or a one. They can't be four and six. That would be too many. So they must have a two, which is no surprise. So that's not a two. Um, they're either two... They can't be 2, 1, because that can't be a 6. So oh, we've had a 1 there. They can't be 2, 3. They're either 2, 4 or 2, 6. And this is therefore either 3 or 1. It's odd. If it's 3 or 1, this can't be 3 anymore. Or 4, actually. If it was 3, there'd be a 1, 2 pair. If it's 4, there'd be a 1, 3. So that's become a 5 in the corner. Um, and if that can't be 3, this can't be 2. This is the this plus that must be five if that plus that are five. So this is two or four, it's even. Oh come on, this must have done it. Five there. One, four, nine, eight, seven. That would be three. This would be six. That would be two. If that was two, three. <clears throat> Knowing there's a two there, doesn't that? That doesn't do anything either. Two, four, or two, six. No, nine, one, eight, seven. This must include three and five in this set. So that's not a three. Oh, and there had to be a one in one of those two. So that's a four. I remembered that finally. Right. In fact, that six arrow, ever since I got the six, I should have written in the one, three. That has been delaying me a lot. Oh, well. Sorry. There we go. All I can is apologize that's not a four so that is two six with a one there this is now a two three pair which can be written in i think everything is going to follow from that two seven that's not a four that's that is a four so they're all done up at the top i've got one seven that's two this is a five 
four pair. In fact, I know which way round because I've got a three, five pair in the top row. That's become a four. That's a naked two. Six and one get written in. Two and three. Oh, I was very slow noticing this arrow was resolved, wasn't I? Three, four, five down here. So a four at the bottom and a three, five pair above it. This now can't be three or four. So that's a six, one arrow. Four, one, two, four, one, three and five at the top. A couple of eye wings. We get two and three. Eight, four, five. Yes. Four, five, eight, one and eight, three and five. And if there's no mistakes, two finishes us off there. Wow, that's a clever puzzle. Thank you so much, Joseph. I mean, it is clever. The fact that I took a while to notice that I had that done and didn't use it. It's a small ding on me. I can live with it. But uh, that was great fun. Thanks very much for watching, as always. Hope to see you again soon on the channel. Bye for now.